Hey guys, Este has been buffed once again. Don't be surprised if Munto announces he's getting a new skin. I find it quite interesting that I rarely lose when I play Estes, and I think the reason for that is because I take advantage of his insane early to mid game and just snowball the enemies. I would recommend getting Encouraged Mask as soon as possible because it provides cooldown reduction, more healing and mana regeneration as well. All the things that Estes really needs. Our team composition seems to lack a little bit of damage, especially in the early game. But once we start getting some of those core items, we could definitely dominate the opposition. As you can see, Johnson is a very weak early tank, so we had to play quite passive. I was hoping Johnson will help me contest the wall kick grass. It's not wise just to give it away for free without even trying. When you're playing against Diggy, just let them clear the wave. There's no need to take those unnecessary damage from his bombs. The turret is spawning in the bottom lane, so ideally it's better to rotate towards that side so we can either take or contest it. Unfortunately, Granger made the wrong choice. At least it seems like he knew he made a blunder there, so I was still confident that he could still perform well later into the game. That was a very close fight, but after that small victory, we can easily snowball the enemy. What I really like about the new map is that you can see the hero's HP right away. Zask and I have our all available. We should definitely put pressure and force a team fight. We should be way stronger than them at this point.
Okay, we got a little bit carried away, but I think we're still in a good position. Their junglers are a good chance to take the turtle while we are being distracted. But the good thing is that we managed to take down two of their turrets and all our turrets still up. Once again, we should just repeat what we did a moment ago in the top lane and just push together when our ults are available. Johnson is doing the right thing, he is going to ult and crush them all in the middle lane. Then Saska and my old can do the rest. Bruh. Um, I guess it is what it is. XD. Okay, that was definitely a good trade. We got more gold from the assist. Hello, my friend. Hold tight. I'm stepping on the gas! Jaguar and Gushon have a lot of instant burst damage, but once we start getting some more items, they won't pose a threat anymore. Estes will be able to outheal everything. Zaz has his ultimate ready. We should continue with the pressure. Gotta take advantage of our team strength. Our whole team positioning was a total disaster, but it's okay, we are still in a great position and definitely way ahead of them. Now that they are down in number, we should try to take the Lord, and if they try to contest it, we should definitely have the advantage over them. It was a lie, it's just going to be a 4v4.
Well, it wasn't too bad of a trade. If we can just continue pushing every time we have our ult ready, it's pretty much a wrap. Only their top inhibitor is remaining. We can just push together and take it down pretty easily. Finally Johnson is in sync with our push. This is probably GG for the enemies. Nani? Old is going to be ready again. Absolutely naughty. And that's why they call him the walking fountain. The team doesn't have to go back to heal. We could just continue pushing till our base falls. I hope you found this video entertaining, and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Thanks.